So I'm gonna explain what's going on here. There's one litter of four puppies in here. They're micro puppies. And then there's two puppies from another litter that are one day younger, but larger than the other puppies, than the micro puppies. This is the mom of the micros. She's 5.5 pounds. And she's weaning the puppies. She doesn't want them to nurse but she's also teaching them to play fight and to defend themselves. She was out of the pen and worked very hard to come in because she knew these puppies were in with two that were bigger. At the beginning of the video, I had some adorable footage of the two larger ones really trying to get the attention of the mom and licking her face. But their goal was they also wanted to nurse from her. So while it seems a little bit chaotic to watch, the mom has a purpose in everything she's doing. I could pick her up. I could take her out of the pen. She could get out of the pen herself very easily. She has been doing that since she was a tiny puppy. It's only two feet tall. But... This is play, and there's a lesson involved in it. So that's why we're watching to see this process. And I thought it was fun seeing the other puppies interact. But you'll notice she plays with them face to face, but then she'll turn and present her backside. So that's a way of showing, you know, if you're in a fight, your backside is not going to get hurt the way your front is. You just turn. So that's some of what she's been doing as we've been watching. I just thought this was a little bit of a educational moment. And again, I thought it was so cute. The other puppies are uh, two of the smallest in another litter that I have. And they're just one day younger than these micro puppies. And they're not too big, but they're still, you know, bigger than the micro puppies. And the mom wants to make sure that these can stand up to them so she's just having her little teaching moment she'll be done in a little while and she'll hop out and go on to other things this is christabel and roxy hart from the other litter they just crack me up to no end one of them has been working at learning to get out of the pen and these two every single morning i think we're on about day eight they just come out they hear me up and they just help themselves out of their pen and come on out i'm sorry i know that's a little bit loud like i say that's all play and teaching that's not fighting so hello sweetie I'm telling you, this little one, this is Roxy Hart. She has the double blue eyes. We're going to probably be keeping Roxy Hart if I can twist my husband's arm hard enough. And then um, Christabel, where's Christabel? Okay, she's over there playing with the other puppies. Christabel has um, dark eyes, but she is absolutely adorable. And what I love about Christabel is just her personality. She is so loving. I, I love that white tipping on her fur and I guess she's gonna go potty over there I'll give her a little bit of privacy but she comes out every morning the minute she hears me and sometimes I put her away two and three times and she just comes right back out she's very determined and these two have learned to climb the stairs um what really cracked me up little miss goldie over here whom we're also keeping um she's tiny she's like two pounds and she managed i think my husband didn't close the door properly to be honest with you she managed to get out of her pen the other morning and came down the stairs into our bedroom now usually at this age you're not going to have a tiny puppy like this crawling down the st or climbing down the stairs i don't know if she fell and rolled i didn't see it but I thought it was absolutely amazing to wake up with Miss Goldie exploring my bedroom, which is right next to um, where our whelping puppies stay. Hello, Missy. Hello. Hi. 
I've just cleaned out this pen and put the puppies in so they don't have their food and water in here yet. And you know, their mom's here, they could nurse, but mom is trying to teach them not to nurse. Um, you can see Goldie's over there making an effort and mom will probably let her for a couple seconds and then she'll move her body. Hey, lovey, come on. Shh, 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 shh. So we're still teaching manners. Okay, here comes, this is Roxy Hart. Do you see how she's literally climbing out of the pin? That's a, a good little video right there. No, oh, baby, come on. You need to stay in there. You need to stay in there. Yeah. You need to stay in there. Now, here's the deal. I had her in. She's from a litter of nine. And I had her in with her brothers and sisters and her mother. And she's come out three or four times this morning. So, oh, come on, girlfriend. Back in. Back in. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> I love your little smile. I love you, little spile. Yes. All right. Well, I'm going to say thank you for watching. We're Stonehill Breeders. I'm going to put my camera down and clean the potty out of the pen and get them some food and water. And here comes Roxy again. Maybe we should just call her Santa Claus and call her here. Come Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right up the pen. Yeah. No. No whining. No whining. No whining. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.